Hi everybody, welcome to the Kirsty Mickey YouTube channel. Don't know where that bit came from on the end. <laughs> channel. Um, today we're going to do uh, Roxy's nails, and we're going to show you how to create this. I don't even know what to call it. I, I, I do that quite regular, don't I? It's got a little bit of marble in. It's got some gold leaf in it, and yeah, you know what I mean. We'll just shall we just start? We'll just. Start. So, short nails, I mean, are you on the right channel? <laughs> <laughs> short nails? Short, these are, people, I think they're short. People might just think they're average. But, you know, I think they're short. They're short compared to Faye's. They're not short compared to mine, they're long compared to mine. Because I have got very short nails. Right, so... We're going with blue colours, like ocean kind of, ocean or icy colours. And what we're going to use some of this. So this stuff is gold leaf, but this isn't just your normal sort of gold leaf because it's got lots of different pieces in there so we've got like a rose gold gold copper and there's also these little rainbowy bits so you see these bits here these are the bits that we're going to use today so basically I need to pick them out of this pack now if anybody's ever used gold leaf you will know that it is really floaty fine you've only got to breathe and it's Let's have a look what we're working with. We're going to be sculpting today with our new sculpting forms. I'm going to put the tab on the back. I'm going to remove the length because we don't need it that long. So the great these forms are because we can use them for long nails, we can use them for short nails. The tab on the back, if you're doing long nails, you want to move the positioning of this tab to this area. So it crosses over onto that perforation. And we're gonna do like a ballerina, tapered square kind of nail. Because I'm doing that shape, I can close these tabs and pretty much almost close the end of that sculpting form. And we're gonna bring this up to the nail but what I want, I want you to see is when we look at this can you see how we've got a nice curve here but Roxy's nail is quite flat it's very straight so I'm going to show you how we can alter that now there's two different ways we can do it we can cut those little corners off Like that to make it straighter. So we've made it straighter. So it will fit like that. The other way to do it is to use your center tab and cut towards the top. So we get this kind of straight line, it's a little bit straight, slightly curved and then we're going to place that at the top of those little wings like that. Let's have a look right now. Roll it. And let's see how it fits now. So that's much better. 
So you can see that if, if you have a client that has a nail that is very flat, so their free edge is naturally very square and straight, straight, yes. straight, then that's a little tip. Okay. So the form needs to fit nice and snug. And then if you look at it here, can you see how it's no wider than the natural nail? That's how it needs to fit. I'm going to use the primer. One thing that does concern me is that that is eating away at all of the paintwork on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So we're all prepped, primed, ready to rock and roll. We're using the Glitter Armour gel polish. See, I've just taken that length off of the backing paper from the sculpting form. I'm going to save that because I can use that as a palette. Waste not, want not. So what I'm going to do is build out a very thin, clear extension. So it's not a huge bead. I'm going to make contact with the nail. So we're going to pat and press. Pull it out to the desired length. which because we've put this extra piece in, we were normally following the numbers on the form, whereas this time, we're gonna have to have a little look at this nail and sort of measure up that way. So we've got that nice thin bead. I'm going to use Deep Skin, which is from the Glitter Armour collection. That's going to go at an angle through here. Now Roxy saw this design on super, super long nails, didn't you? And you were like, oh, I don't know if it's going to work on short nails. What? I, I, I have faith that it's going to look nice. So we're keeping that product just there. So on the nail plate itself at the back and then coming down at an angle. And then we've got Alice Blue. And we've got bubblegum. And we've got white. And what we're going to do is place one bead, another bead. And another bead. I'm just going to run them through each other to create a little bit of a marble. And I've just swapped to my 3D brush so I can control this because it's quite small. And this is setting up super quick. Then I'm going to use some of the Blue Angel. Now this is glitter already mixed with acrylic. So I'm going to pick a little bit of that up. And that little gap. I'm 
A little gap there, a little bit of glitter. I'm going to add a little bit here as well. Just want to feed a little bit more of that dark blue. I'm going to pinch that while it's at that stage. And then... And then... Right, now we've got to pick out these. Yeah, okay. I like a challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it was in a pot, maybe it would be easier. Well, let's just open this. You know what? I don't think I we'll need much more than that because that's quite a decent size piece. Oh. So which bits are you trying to get out there? So they're iridescent. They like they like multi tone, like multi coloured. See. Mhm. Mm this one. But it's just them bits you want. Yeah, just them bits that Roxy wants. <laughs> Oh, that's a gold piece. Right, I've got more than enough there. Oh my God, she cut it. You. <laughs> what did you just say just so in case people didn't hear that? That one's walking. So let's have I've a look at I've got a file, them. yeah. Let me, let me see. Show about a sea cave. We've got a file. I've got to take a break that off, yeah. So, right. This little bit of um, gold leaf we're going to put in here. In here, yeah. So what we want to do is we want to wet that area with monomer. And now the monomer will stay a little bit sticky and that's going to hold it in place. But we want to kind of break this up. I feel like a surgeon. So I'm going to pull some apart and then you can actually break it up even more while it's on the nail. So, give us your nap. Press it down, move it about, sneak it where you want it.
same here. So once you've got that in there, we're going to cap. So we're capping with clear, we're kind of sandwiching the foil and also building up structure of the nail. Right, so we're going to pop that form on like we did the other one. Let's make sure it's straight. So this one we're going to completely marble. But because I'm going to be using colours that are super strong in pigment, especially this, this blue, it's like very pigmented and sets very quick. I'm going to try and put a bit of glitter in as well. Because I'm going to do that, I am going to build out with clear so I know I've got great adhesion. Sometimes with colours that have really highly pigmented um, pigments inside, it can, it can hinder the adhesion. So you get around that by just adding a very thin layer of clear. So bead after bead. So like, it doesn't even like picking up this blue. Oh, it's very drippy. So what you want with a marble. Stretch that down.
When you're doing a marble, make sure that you keep that cuticle area nice and neat. Now let's add a bit of glitter. I'm going to put a little bit of this foil in that we put in on the other one, just I think it just ties it in. Nice. Got any objections? No. Good. Right, let's cap this. What's the cap? Yep. What's the cap in your So I've got my brush behind and every time I go side to side and press, it forces the product to move down the nail. And it leaves a little behind, tapping the design. Let's just check. Just want a, a tiny bead. Yeah. Drag it back. Lovely, darling, lovely. Right, let's get the Samantha on. Give it a pinch. So we're going to take the forms off. So when you're taking the form off, you want to split the back, peel those sides down, give it a wiggle and pull down and away from your client. Uh -uh. Don't be tempted to sort of pull it this way because you're going to catch the arpenicium and it's a little bit painful there. Don't want to cause any damage. Fabulous, darling. Let's file these. So I've already got a file set up and I've got my buffer on one side and I've got a 150 grit on the other side. So it's perfect for finished filing. You could even have two of these set up, so you could have other grits on the other file. These are the disposable files that have the replaceable sanding paper on them. Go 
going to use the metal file to go right up these sides. And then round the cuticle area. Gonna do the sides. All right, well that's set, we can move on to this one. So, because I don't like this bit too much, because you've got the clear, then you've got the white, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put some crystals here. Just make it prettier, do not you? Right, so let's clean this up. Now we've buffed him. We'll get the bling out. We'll get a bit blingtastic. So we're going to use Silver AB. These are like, uh, they're from the Alchemy and they're like a normal AB, but I think they've got like a slightly different colour. So they've got, they've got that iridescent, but then they've got the pop of blue. It's got a nice blue, which will match nicely. Even though I think you should have had the other blue ones as well, but you know. I'm going to put some up here and I'm going to put some up here. I'm going to use the brush on glue from um, Glitterama and I'm going to use the Kirsty Meekin Pammy Picker Upper named after my mother. Let's open these. So we've got lots of different sizes. Which I love. So now we are gemmed up, gemmy, gemmy, gem, gemmed. We get a top coat. Is this one of the top coats that was in our showdown? It was. This top coat was in our showdown mm -hmm. in the. Um, Battle of the Brands. 
can't remember where it came. <laughs> I think it was like third or fourth or something. Yeah, it was. It was. It was quite, it, high. It was quite high. It was pretty decent. Oh, I've just moved that. Little. Let's see you back there, Mister. So. Little marble nail, a little, it's like a, a river table. Yeah, them river tables you can get. Do you know what that reminds me of? What? Watching Gold Rush. Oh, my I love. Had, I had coronavirus and I watched like 19 seasons of Gold Rush. Yeah. And that's what it was, it was the gold was just flickering in the rivers. Yeah. I swore I was going to go to Canada and become a millionaire. Never know. Yeah, never know. Right, let's put a little bit of cuticle oil on. To finish, hydrate. Like it. The gold looks lovely. Mm -hmm. I like the crystals as well. Cool. Tiny nails for tiny hands. Because <laughs> she has the tiniest hands. So did you not say I had to get my 3D brush out? <laughs> <laughs> so there you are guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Everything that I've used today will be listed below in the description box. So yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da, duck! <laughs>